do I know that likes Rod Carew or Joe Morgan? Dun, dun, dun. Hello? MP Fox at Fox Crew Carts? Hey, it's Scott at Ranger Studios. What's happening, sir? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, this is my mom's spaghetti phone. Cool, so um, I just got back from my LCS and I found a sweet 1974 All-Star card with Rod Carew and Joe Morgan. You interested? Yeah? What do you give me for it? Five dollars? Um, well, I was thinking more like 800, but what about we meet in the middle? Uh, $397.50. No? Okay, um... $40? Still no. Okay, uh, $40 and a Rod Carew marker doodle. All right, you got a deal, sir. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. This is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card, a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. Oh my gosh, happy opening day. It is like Christmas times a thousand up in here. And a little bit of channel trivia, my very first video was on opening day in 2019. So I have very fond memories of that. And I'm happy to be drawing a baseball player today for a super great guy with a super great channel, MP Fox at Fox Crew Cards. I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna narrate my process. A little bit of inside baseball, if you will. And I don't normally do that, but uh, two or three of you might be interested, so why not? So I start these off with a mechanical pencil trying to get everything just right because if you start off with crap, you're gonna end up with crap and nobody wants crap. Once I'm happy, I'll do some thin outlines with a fine point Sharpie pen. Now I erase everything with a kneaded eraser because it picks up the graphite and it doesn't really scratch up the surface of the paper like a regular eraser would. And because I'm using alcohol markers and those don't work well over pencil graphite. And I should mention that the alcohol markers don't smear the Sharpie pen, which could be a concern if I did the outlines with other markers. The skin is the toughest part and I like to do the tougher parts first because if I were to mess up, which I never really do, but uh, I'm not really that far into this and it would hurt less to start over now. MP requested the powder blue uniforms, which are awesome. This uh, blue is a little too bold and I can't quite get it exactly right on this tone paper, but I'll fix that later. I've done a little shading with the markers, especially in the skin, but for the most part, I want this to be kind of flat color. Now I start to add a little bit of depth in the blues. Here's where I use white colored pencil to lighten up that blue and add light highlights. Um, since the paper is brown, you really have to add white where you need it. I love making helmets shine. Shiny helmets are the best. Now that all the coloring is done, I use these cool Japanese brush markers to put in the final black lines. These are the markers that like manga artists use. I just started using these about six months ago and I really love them. If I were to use the alcohol markers over these, they would probably smear, but you do get better, more diverse lines than you would with the Sharpie. This is a bigger version of the brush marker. I'm going over the outside edges to contain the drawing and it really cleans up any sloppy edges. I usually like to add some graphic shapes in the background. What I didn't show you is that I took this drawing into Photoshop to figure out what would work best. I don't want to do any experimenting on the drawing at this point, but uh, I went with a big horizontal rectangle to give Rod some speed. This purple wasn't exactly right and a little dry, so I was able to put another purpley over top of it. Here's the white outline. I use a Uniball Signo white gel pen for this. I love this part. It really makes the figure pop. Got my signature on there and we're good to go. There's Mr. Carew. I really like the dramatic lighting in his face and I'm really, really happy with how this one came out.
But you didn't think we were done, did you? I didn't even tell a terrible joke yet. And it's opening day, man. This is a special video. Fox Crew Cards isn't just MP Fox, but it's also MC Fox. And MC is just as cool, if not cooler, than MP. So I wanted to do a doodle for him, too. So I stalked him on the Facebook a little bit, and I found some pictures of him pitching. I've told you all my drawing secrets, so I don't have to go over that again, but I don't know which drawing was more fun. Probably this one, if I'm being honest, because it was a surprise. They didn't ask for it, and I didn't tell the Fox crew I was doing this, and I've wanted to do an MC Fox Doodle for a while now. It's just really, really great to watch these two share their passion for baseball cards. It is heartwarming and smile-inducing and all that mushy-gushy stuff. Hey, I promised you a terrible joke and I'm a man of my word. So some of you complained that my joke was a little too long last week. So I've got a short one this week. Two birds, MP bird and MC bird were sitting on a perch. MC looks at MP and says, hey, do you smell fish? So I hope all of your favorite teams win today if they're playing, but uh, I know only half the teams can win. And if your team loses today, hey, there's always tomorrow. It's a beautiful thing. Baseball is back. Can you tell I'm a little bit excited? All right, there's MC and Rod Carew. Both doodles were super fun. Two blips closer to my Cy Young card today. Thanks for asking me to do this one, Senior Fox. Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And we'll catch you next time. Now go watch some baseball.